Sue, what's the intel on Intel? Take us inside. Okay, Intel also having a disappointing outlook. They were in line on their third quarter numbers. It is the outlook that everyone's focused on. The stock was down as much as 9%. And what Intel said was they are projecting more spending and less profitability in the years ahead. They also say weaker performance is partially expanded by supply chain, explained by supply chain issues. You're looking at the defensive strategy quote from the Intel CEO. He said, we are still in the early stages of our journey, but I see the enormous opportunity ahead. I couldn't be prouder of the progress we're making toward that opportunity. Well, investors were not as upbeat in their reaction to this because they're focused on whether this CEO can improve Intel's products leadership enough or at least quickly enough to halt uh, share loss or market share loss or a lot of their customers defecting to rivals. You have to realize that it's been very recently that Intel has stumbled and advances have uh, really become obvious by Taiwan Semiconductor now boasting they have processors that are much better than Intel's. A couple years ago, many Intel supporters would say that would be inconceivable. We are also seeing a reaction in after hours by many of Intel's suppliers. Their ADRs that are traded here in the U.S. were down as well uh, in reaction to Intel's uh, disappointing outlook. It's expected that these issues will be weighing heavily on the tech sector in the Friday session. Again, it's been hard to measure how supply chain is impacting these companies. You've now got two that have lowered their outlook and partially pointing the blame to supply chain. Back to you.